What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again, and you're watching the Guy Channel. Now, a lot of guys ask me, what is it that players know that nice guys don't know? Why is it that players seem to get all the girls, while nice guys seem to just get left out in the cold? Well, one of the biggest things that players understand is that it's not about rejection. Now, a lot of nice guys struggle with rejection. Some of you are paralyzed by the fear of rejection. Some of y'all just can't even, can't even function, can't even talk to a girl. Some people, it's different degrees, but some people just can't even talk to a girl because they fear rejection so much. I was talking to a friend of mine about rejection just the other day, and he was basically saying, you know, when you fear rejection, it makes it to where you even question a sure thing. So basically a girl that you've been talking to for like two months, really trying to get her to, to feel you, and she might call you up and say, hey, you know, you're really cute and I really like you. Why don't you come over to my house about 9 o'clock and we could just watch some Netflix and chill. You take that and be like, oh, she trying to put me in a friend zone. I don't know. Man, I don't want to go over there and then have her just try to, to reject me. I don't want to. No, nah, man, I don't even think I'm going to go over. Nah, and then if you do go over, you go over with an attitude or you go over afraid or you go over just feeling some type of way. And that's the issue. It's like there can't be a sure thing because you second guess it. There can't be a situation where you just automatically get the girl because you're going to even second guess that. It's nothing that you can really feel is a sure thing. And that's a problem. That's something that comes from that fear, that deep-seated fear of rejection. Now, what players understand is it's not about the rejection. Your fear isn't coming from the rejection, it's not about that girl saying no. It's not about her telling you that she doesn't like you or whatever she may say. It's about what that makes you feel internally. When a girl tells you no, it basically reinforces everything you already feel about yourself. Every negative feeling that you have comes right back to you. It's because you haven't reconciled issues that you have internally. Maybe it's a situation where when she says no, you start saying, in your mind, you start saying, I don't like you fatty. I don't like you shorty. I don't like you tall and lanky. I don't like you buck tooth. I don't like you glasses. All of those different things. Maybe people might have said to you when you were a kid. It may just be things that you got in your own mind that you think about yourself. But when she says no, or I'm not feeling you, or I don't have a chemistry, or I'm not romantically attracted to you, any of those things, those hot button statements, any of those things make all of those words, all of those things that you've ever heard or all those things you ever felt just go off in your head. So that makes the situation very difficult for you. When you want to go up to somebody and say, hey, you know, would you like to go out or something like that? It's a difficult situation because you're fearing that. You're feeling that emotional rush of every negative thing you've ever felt about yourself, things that you haven't reconciled. So it makes it twice as or even sometimes a hundred times more difficult for you to go up to a girl than it is for a player. Why? Because if you're a player, what you've already done is you've reconciled the negative in your mind. People think it's all because all players are good looking. No, they're not. All it's because all players are rich. No, they're not. All players are tall. <laughs> no, they're not. None of those things. It's because they've already reconciled a lot of the negative things that you might see in their own head. You might see somebody that's ugly and they're like, okay, that's cool. You think I'm ugly. Maybe half of these girls in here might think I'm ugly, but not all. They've already reconciled these things in their mind and that's what you have to do. Anything that you don't have the ability to change, you have to accept and you have to embrace. So if you've done a million sit-ups and you ain't been able to lose that gut, you got a gut. Accept and embrace. Are there not any guys with a gut getting girls? Yes, there are. You're short. You're not growing. If you're a grown-ass man, you're not about to hit that growth spurt. It ain't coming. So you got to accept the fact that the growth spurt isn't coming and love who you are. Even though you might be short, that's not a big deal. You act like there's no short guys getting girls. You're tall and skinny, so what? You might have lifted every weight you possibly could and it hasn't worked. Okay, fine, you're tall and skinny. That's your lot in life. Accept it, embrace it, and move on. 
Once you do that, it starts giving you that confidence to be able to accept what might come back. If a girl says she's not attracted to you, you're not going to just beat yourself up about it and go, oh man, it's because I'm tall and skinny. Uh. You're going to be like, okay, cool, peace. When you don't care about that, it's not going to bother you, so it's going to take away a lot of that anxiety and a lot of that fear that goes into trying to talk to somebody. When you've already embraced whatever they might say about you, whatever they might be thinking, and you're saying, you think that, maybe a lot of people do, but everybody's not going to think that. And even the ones that do might actually like me for it. Get what I'm saying? That's you embracing these things about yourself. That takes away the fear and the anxiety. Because think about it this way. You get a million dollars, you put it on the table. I walk past you and you say, hey, come here. I want to give you this million dollars. What if I was to say, huh, I don't want that million dollars. It has spots on it. Look how dirty that money is. You wouldn't try to convince me to take that money. It wouldn't lower what you felt about the money. You wouldn't give two craps. You'd be like, so what? You don't want the money. I know 10,000 other people who walk by here will. You must be crazy. And you tell me to walk on by and then someone else would, of course, take the money. Because it's a million dollars and you know it's valuable. Well, you got to feel that way about yourself. I know it's easier said than done, but it comes from just embracing the things that you feel are negative. And it's understanding the fact that they don't stop you from getting where you want to be. That's the key. And once you understand the fact that you're not going to grow, once you understand the fact that you, is, once you do everything you can and you understand the fact that some things just aren't going to change, you're going to be able to accept them and you're not going to have everything riding on each encounter you have with a female. Okay, she says something bad about you. Cool. She says she's not interested. Okay. It's not reinforcing all this negativity because this is how it starts. When you don't feel comfortable and you don't feel happy with who you are, you're looking for affirmation from that girl. So if she says yes, it makes you think, maybe I'm not so fat. Maybe I'm not so short. Maybe it doesn't matter. You're trying to get that from her. You're trying to get her to reaffirm that you're a value. Now, if you're looking for that from a girl, she's going to sense that, and that's going to make her reject you, okay? That's going to make you so nervous. That's going to make you so scared every time you talk to somebody. The fear becomes paralyzing. Some of y'all are already dealing with that. You're not going to be able to get past that because you're hoping that she's going to make you feel valuable. You got to already feel it. So this is how players deal with a girl. If she says yes cool, I'm still the same person. If she says no, cool, I'm still the same person. So I'm not going to let this person tell me I'm good, bad, or anything. I feel good about myself regardless. You say no, then you're passing up on something great. That's on you. So that makes it to where you're not going to feel nervous. You're not going to worry about them rejecting you. Why? Because you're going to feel good about yourself regardless. The reality is Everybody gets rejected. I don't care what you look like. So if you grew six inches, if you lost 20 inches off your waist, if you were, you know, Brad Pitt, you would still get rejected. If I'm talking about if you were the Brad Pitt with the money, the fame, and everything, you would still get rejected. So don't worry about whatever your little problems that you feel like you have are and all the things you got going on. Don't let those things stop you. Don't worry about what someone else might be thinking or all the things people said to you in your past. Reconcile those things. Start feeling good about yourself just because you're you for no other reason than that. And I promise you that fear of rejection will clear up. And when it does, you'll start getting girls automatically. Because they're going to sense that confidence and they're going to realize that if they say yes or no, it's not going to make or break you. So they're going to want you to care about them. That's a whole different video. But when you don't care, when it doesn't matter to you, they're going to want you to care. I promise you. And they're going to have to do things to make you care, which is, you know, give you some of that attention, give you some of that um, respect and love and all those things that you want. So start believing in yourself. Stop worrying about all the bad things that people said in the past and worrying about every girl saying no and, may, and reinforcing negativity. And that's going to make you feel better. It's not about the rejection. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Hopefully I was able to help you out. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody else.